Right, um, I just wanted to quickly do a video here in response, um, in response to response, <laughs> in response to the, um, the Cardano Improvement Proposal, the CIP, um, post which is on the forum, um, Ben and I, uh, Ben from Cardano Foundation and I have sort of been having a brief conversation uh, on there uh, just regarding it and um, yeah it just started out as so I thought okay I'll just as opposed to typing in um, a response I'll just sort of make a video um, you know which is just a, it's a better medium uh, higher resolution um, you know to be able to to articulate briefly uh, some of my points or my feelings uh, on the matter um, and also video is good because you know um, it can be shared everywhere else which would mean people can actually know that this conversation is taking place um, in that you know if they want to contribute and you know they should contribute uh yeah they should come over to the uh the forum i mean even if it's just being uh informed that this conversation is going on um that in and of itself is actually quite important and if this if a video can achieve that i think it's going to be worthwhile right so i'll just well, quickly jump into it um do, 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 do. Right, so this is uh, this is a forum, of course. Um, yeah, so just scroll. Up. So this is the uh, this is the post announcement. Grano improvement proposal CIP one transitioning to proposed status. So this is the second. Um, pub publication or um, a bit of communication regarding um, the CIP. The first one was actually not um, under the CIP category within the forum, I think it's under developers or something. Um, the thinking behind that was that at least it can get some people, um, say within uh, the ITN and just developers in general to know that this is taking place and then for it to be transferred over here. So now it now lives within the CIP category. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna, in this particular uh, video, I'm not gonna go into the details of what's proposed. Um, you can come over to the forum and have a look uh, at some point in the future. Uh, once I feel I have a better understanding and, um, yeah, so uh, when I feel a bit more at peace with the strategy and approach um, I hope to make a um, a video actually with some neat sort of graphic sl graphic slash animations um, illustrating things like this um, you know the sort of uh, tree um, uh, these things called it's not really a decision is a decision tree I suppose yeah decision tree um, yeah so we're not going to dwell on that um, so this is my oh, crap sake. Uh, yeah so this is my response initial response um, And then this is the uh, response a few hours ago by uh, Ben from the Cardano, from the Cardano Foundation. So um, I'm just going to highlight a few points. Um, I'm not going to dwell on this again. The idea of this is they're supposed to be brief. Um, so actually, I'm going to start off by saying um, thanking the Carano Foundation and Ben specifically for his response uh, for his response response um, 
uh, and and just he's been quite dutiful in his interactions with me here. Like he read my initial response, uh, and knowing that it will take him a while to actually respond, he actually private messaged me saying, "Hey, I've read your you know your message. Um, I'm going to you know reply to it in a bit." Um, yeah, so thank you for that. Thank you for actually engaging the community in this. I think it's super important uh, in the whole CAP improvement pro um, proposal process. Um, uh, as well as actually thanking you for using the forum um, as the medium to do this. Uh, because for some baffling reason in, in the past, important things like, for example, the ITN has been relegated to places like Telegram, which is accessible, let's be honest, and just not fit for purpose, in that it's really confined. You know, so to give an analogy, it's a bit like a stadium with one door, as opposed to a stadium with many doors, um, you know, where input and output is, you know, has a better, later, a bit later, a better latency and bandwidth, basically, um, you know, just it helps for a healthier conversation, right? Because there's a richness that allows for sort of deeper thought and um, better interaction. So thank you for using the forum as a medium um, or even Reddit as the the, the podcast that um, Rick and Thingy do, using Reddit for whatever reason as opposed to the forum. Uh, I assume that everyone has Reddit. <laughs> Uh, I'll choose us to make an account there. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, thank you for using the forum. Right, so now just quickly jumping into this. Um, my initial uh, feeling about this response is that I really liked it. Well, I liked the beginning. It started off really well uh, and then ended not um, so much in that spirit, right? Because it started out with, uh, with then saying CIP editors have influence and that's a risk which I just really appreciate that straightforwardness that just like straight accountability um, you know in saying that yeah this is a this is a position that has influence um, and that you know acknowledging that it's a risk I think starting there as opposed to kind of trying to the thing that I suppose rubs me the wrong way is when people sort of trying to sweep things under the rugs like yeah it's, it's a problem but I'm not going to acknowledge it so thank you for acknowledging this particular um, aspect of my uh, of, of the response of the issue um, so da -da 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 -da. so that was like the key thing from this uh, uh, da, 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 da. and then just basically jumping all the way right to the bottom right where I basically say um, my sense is that this CIP process has been approached from the initial post that preceded this one has been to copy and paste Bitcoin's um, BIP so Bitcoin improvement proposal um, it's one thing to take inspiration as a foundation, but to slavishly keep to it when POS proof of stake um, gives all these opportunities that POW proof of work just isn't capable of implementing. Uh, you know, all the sort of exotics or opportunities going back to Y Cardano, um, you know, the documentation on there, like that was one of the reasons why it was decided to take on, you know, this first principles approach um, in trying to work out how to create a secure way to get proof of stake to work, right? Because of all these sort of beautiful um, opportunities that it allows for. So yeah, so Ben responded by saying, following industry standards is a way to implement tried and tested systems. Cardano is not just a technology, but a paradigm shift. My thinking is we do not need to reinvent the wheel needlessly. 
I politely disagree. Um, yeah, he goes on to say we looked at other similar improvement proposals and build this model um, with them in mind, improving where feasible. This is an open process. We guided welcome suggestions about where you or others might have ideas for improving. Um, yeah, I fundamentally disagree, and my disagreement can be distilled um, and expressed through the, I think, Henry Ford quote, which is, you know, uh, had he asked people what they wanted, they would have asked for a faster horse. Right? That's what industry standards would have um, stipulated or pointed to. You know, um, when you're dealing with things which have never been done before, and to do something new, you have to be dealing with and approaching things in a way that has not been done before. That is not to say, I mean, I have acknowledged, right, um, the quote-unquote industry standards um, in, in reference to Bitcoin's improvement proposal. Um, and my whole point here is to say, like, let's not stop there, right? Um, let's not stop there and let's ca actually basically carry on the first principles thinking because that's where rich, um, innovative ideas are arrived at. And of course, it's difficult. Yes, we're going to fail, but what we must endeavor to do is to actually start walking in the right direction as opposed to walking in the wrong direction really slowly let's run in the in the right direction because we know that you know it's going to be or 99 percent perspiration uh and one percent inspiration kind of thing uh right so uh, so i've just got a few points here to um Yeah, to talk about, I think my key thing here is let's not paint ourselves into a corner because what I see happening, what I'm concerned about, and I think others are concerned about in a slightly in in, in a slightly different context. So we're having this conversation about what a zero and k um, should amount to, and that's distilled down to its essence. This is basically a conversation about centralization and decentralization. Things which will ultimately lead to one of those um, dynamics. Um, so, yeah, centralization in the context of development in terms of the CIP, because we get it wrong here, the inertia, right, the Matthew effect, of that compounded by a similar um, effect in terms of pools, right? We get it wrong in terms of the implementation of the pools. What happens is, yeah, the Matthew effect just kicks in, you know, and the richer and the rich just become richer and so on and so on. Uh, in terms of pools, not particularly well, so to speak. So, I feel like. Um, It's a deadly combination, basically. That's that's what I'm trying to say. And if we get it wrong in the first place, the inertia is going to be very tricky to solve, to to correct course, right? Um, if you think about it, first and second generation blockchains or decentralized ledger tech, if you look at the biggest um, sort of points of contention or uh, yeah, points of contention um, can basically be pointed to some variation of this argument. Uh, you know, so if you think of first gen or make a Bitcoin, you've got you know the whole block size conversation there, which then led to um, a fork, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, etc. And then in the context of Ethereum, uh, you've got the DAO. And then they couldn't agree, blah, blah, blah. ETC came from that. Again, a fork. What's actually interesting here is, um, let's just scroll up here. Uh, I noticed that Ben has a quote in his um, 
bio or description bit, which reads, you, you can fork a code base. You can, you can fork a code base, but you can't fork a community. I beg to differ because I feel like fundamentally, once you, you know, like, once you fork a code base, like, that happens with the community ultimately. Yeah, you might have um, some sort of um, sense of momentum with one over the other, but you are going to split the community ultimately. Um, so I think we just need to be wary of that. Let's not paint ourselves into a corner and let's actually be diligent about how we approach this because it is important. Our decisions now, today, are path dependent and are going to adversely or greatly shall I say um inordinately affect future decisions um right so proposals um just some quick ideas i think um it's it's fine right going back it's fine to have a dinosaur's mindset right where you know you're saying you don't need to reinvent the wheel needlessly it's fine to have you know this very precautious attitude but I implore you to please seriously um, consider actually having an environment where we can have radical ideas explored right um, you know, so I don't know, it can be like a CFX or something, you know, sort of like, um, what is it, ILM or XLab um, or Google X, you know, special projects basically, like a, a small team, I mean at this point again it's just one individual, right, who interacts with people within the community who have like crazy ideas, for example me, um, and get to test it, not in a capital intensive way, but just in a way where actually, um, you know, we're able to give them a fair try and, you know, because it's important, it's important to actually do that because otherwise then we just, um, You know, you're either dying or you're living slash growing, right? Um, and being super precautious is basically being stagnant. Um, right, so oh, I, I hope um, to give some proposals um, that will ultimately, uh, you know, look to interweave the community into, you know, the fundamental sort of developmental um, decision-making process in regards to Im the improvement of uh, of Karana because it's not just code that we're talking about here we're talking about even things like social for example so one of the things uh, I think we would find is someone would come along within the community who would have ideas say to make a better meetup um, protocol Right, someone whose background is in psychology or social science or something, um, someone who an environment like GitHub or sort of Git versioning is super alien, but they can be able to, you know, find their way around, say, the forum, right? Because the forum is relatively straightforward or you know, such an environment because that's kind of built for, you know, a consumer. If we're really to look at improving, the system fundamentally influenced by the community i think we need to strongly consider actually um developing tools to enable that right uh, because not all implementation is going to need a technical thing right unless i have really misunderstood the reach or scale um, of the aspects of the improvement within Cardano 
uh, the this the CIP looks to uh, incorporate so uh, yeah so I'll be looking to make like some uh, user experience um, prototypes and just examples that show an experience which allows for versioning but doesn't require say you know the cognitive um, overload of having to be familiar with an environment like github for instance um, it, in a sense what we're talking about here is you know kind of going back to the x lab equivalent um, would be to create an environment for continuous integration right because if you have um, if you have ideas which are untested the logical step is to actually create a an environment where such ideas can be tested without breaking the bank um, yeah and again continuous um, integration is something you know within um, DevOps that is super useful um, and actually quite old so um, or tried and tested so actually creating such an environment um, right which actually incorporates things which require code um, related uh, implementation as well as ones which would be say like social or even I don't know physical right like for example something like hardware for instance right yeah so those are just my my two cents um, let me know if this makes sense um, if you want to respond to any points in this video wherever you're watching it I shall post the link um, on the YouTube uh, or within the YouTube description to the forum um, where this is going to be posted where this conversation is taking place um, yeah please head on over there and uh, let's try and get more people actually interacting there let's have this be the one um, sort of communal um, source of truth and really be like a forum you know like one of those sort of amphitheater type forums